Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. And in today's video, we are going to create this face swap animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So I'm going to use these. It's completely up to you. You can use whatever image you want. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this effect and width. We are going to set this to 2500. Height will be 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 30 seconds. Just click on OK. So you can see we have this wide comp. First I'm going to drag our background. So I'm using this crunch text footage. So let me just quickly rotate this to 90 degree. And then we can probably scale this down. And let's apply motion tile to this. So that it will fix the edges. Let's set this to 200. And 200 over here as well. After that, let's select mirror edges. So now you can see we have the seamless background. Now let's apply tint to this so that it will turn this to black and white. And let's just quickly drag our footage. And let me just quickly scale this down. And let's pick the other one. Just like this. Let me just scale this down as well. So now I'm going to apply tint to this second image as well. Because I want this to be black and white. Something like this. Now we can select this and let's scale this down. Now let's start creating some masks. So we can select this layer and let's select the pen tool. We are going to draw a mask around the face. So let me just quickly zoom in and you can just simply click and just start creating a mask. You don't have to be precise. Just a rough mask will do the job. So there you go. Now you can see we have created our mask and now we can just simply match its scale with the other image so let me just quickly select the other image and we can probably scale this up a little bit something like this so I think this is looking fine now we can probably select this and let's place it on top of it and now you can just simply scale this up and roughly match its size something like this now we can move it back to its original position now we can select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's just quickly rename these. So let me just call this face and the bottom layer we can call this body. Now we can select this and press M to reveal the mask. And let's set this to none so that we can see the whole image. Now we can quickly draw a very rough outline mask of this whole image. So just simply select the body and just simply keep on drawing a very rough mask. There you go. Now you can see we have created this rough mask and let's do the same thing over here as well. Just simply click and just draw a very rough mask. Something like this. So you can see we have created the mask. Now let's do some animation. But before that, let's place these footages. So I'm going to select this and let's place it somewhere around here. And let's select both of these. And I'm going to place it over here. We can probably disable the face layer and let's open up the body mask. Press M. Now we are going to first set this to subtract and after that we are going to set this to intersect. So now you can see that we are not able to see the face but rest of the part is visible which is exactly what we want. So we can probably enable this and now you can see we have both the images. And now let's animate the face. So I'm going to select the face layer, press P for position. Let's add a position keyframe and I'm going to move this keyframe a little bit ahead. After that in the beginning I want the face to be somewhere over here so let me just quickly first select this and let's place it somewhere around here and after that we can select the face and let's move it to somewhere around here so if i play back here you can see that our face will go back to its original position let's select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and we can probably change this to look something like this which is looking fine let's move to the second step to create the echo effect so i'm going to select the face and let's right click and let's pre-compose it move all attribute to the composition just click on ok now we can apply echo effect to this just drag it on top of it now if you play back you can see that we are able to see a bunch of different copies i'm going to set this to composite in back after that we can play around with the position let's increase the number of copies and let's set this to something like eight and let's play around with the echo time so you can set this to zero after that hold down the control key and then just simply move it into the negative side. Just make sure to change the composite to composite in front 
and now if I play back here you can see we have this really amazing face swapping effect now I'm going to make all the layers 3d so let's select all of them and let's make them 3d now I'm going to add a camera so go to layer new camera just click on ok now I'm going to add a new null object so right click new null object let's make it 3d as well let's parent the camera to the null now we are going to select the background and I'm going to move it far behind in the Z space something like this so now we can select the null object and we can press P for position and let's add a keyframe and let's move in the beginning and we can also press S and let's just simply zoom in a little bit something like this now we can press P and let's move it so that only this layer is visible so if we are able to see the endpoint we can just simply select this and let's change the motion tile and let's set this to 300 by 300 something like this now we can probably select the null object and let's move it to the original position somewhere around here we can also animate the scale so let's add a scale keyframe press u and in the beginning let's set the scale to something like this after that we can probably zoom in a little bit something like this and we can also move it a little bit down just like that now we can select the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them and if you play back you can see we have this sort of animation but first let me just quickly select these keyframes and let's move it somewhere around here also let's select the face comp and let's move it somewhere around here so that we have couple of frames on which we are not able to see anything after that we can select this layer press T and let's add opacity keyframe and let's set this to 0 so there you go now you can see we have this face revealing we can probably move the keyframes closer something like this and also in the beginning we can just simply select this and let's move it to the opposite direction and now if I play back here you can see we have this sort of animation let's go to the graph and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph now we can select these endpoints and let's press F9 to ease ease them after that you can right click keyframe velocity and let's enable this continuous now we can zoom in and let's in place it a little bit high above after that we can increase the ease out something like this there you go now we have this really amazing animation and let's just quickly place the position yeah I think this is looking fine if you think that the scale is too much then you can probably leave it something like this so the last step is to add a stop motion kind of effect so we can just simply create a new adjustment layer and on top of it we can apply an effect called posterize time so just search for it and just drag it on top of it and after that you can change the frame rate to 12 so if I play back here you can see we have this stop motion kind of effect which is looking very amazing we can probably select the keyframes and let's move it somewhere around here just like that so yeah, this is how you can create these kind of animation and now in order to render this into a 1080p comp just simply create another composition let's call this main and width and height will be 920 by 1080 just click on ok after that you can drag your effect comp now if i play back here you can see we have this really amazing animation now there's one more thing that you can do you can just simply apply a drop shadow effect on to this face just search for it and drag it on to this after that increase the opacity and let's increase the distance a little bit and increase the softness as well so there you go now you can see we have this sort of effect you can use it in a music video or a documentary wherever you want it's completely up to you so if you have any queries or question you can ask in the comments below and if you want to support this channel then you can join my patreon page all the links are in the description below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one